trying to come up with new ones of these. I feel like there's not many. Yeah, it's becoming a thing. No longer is one box enough for me in an unboxing video. I now always need more than one. So we've got two to open and guess what? It's one of your favorites, the Evike box of awesomeness. Let's get ready to go. So you must be thinking, Ed, you need to slow down. You're buying far too many boxes. And my wife would 100% agree with you. However, today we're actually really, really lucky. Um, you guys and the community are absolutely amazing. Uh, if you haven't, subscribe, obviously. Uh, join our Discord server. Get involved in uh, the community. We've got TikTok, we've got Instagram, everything right now. Uh, but I'm really, 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 really lucky because Jared, who's one of our incredible subscribers on the channel, messaged me before the Box of Awesomeness dropped on evike.com and said to me, hey Ed, do you want me to just order my box to your house so that you can open it on your uh, unboxing video and then I'll pay for the shipping for you just to ship it back to me. I was like, why would I say no to that? That sounds incredible. I love Box of Awesomenesses. The one thing that we all know about the Box of Awesomeness is that you can only have one per person or one per order. So I can't order more than one of them. So I thought, you know what? If I get the excitement of opening two boxes, that is really cool. Plus also we get to see if Jared won or if I won. Obviously he's not here. So hey Jared, thanks for sending the box. But that's a really, really cool thing uh, that I can almost see what someone else gets uh, and get really disappointed, which you guys get to see on my face if that happens. But I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna win. Um, I unfortunately got this one, small one. So uh, I think we're gonna start with Jared's one because then I can be excited or disappointed at the end when, uh, when we see what I get. This box has got a lot of damage on it. So Jared, I'm really sorry, mate. Um, I haven't been able to see what's inside, but there's just a lot of banging and like cracks on the edge. Um, give you guys some background on this one. Box of Awesomeness, I think might be my favorite, other than maybe the Fox uh, $100 to $1,000 boxes. Uh, but Evike definitely tend to give you some really, really good value in the Box of Awesomeness. And one thing I really like, I don't know if you guys are the same, let me know in the comments, is that they give you more than one item. So they don't just give you one gun. A lot of the boxes have two rifles or guns in them. Uh, they also give you kind of like little bits of extras, like knee pads, I think is a big one on this one. Um, so in total, guys, there were 388 boxes. It literally sold out in less than two minutes. I luckily was had my alarm set two minutes before, had all my card details in my account, uh, checked out and, and got it. Too Tall missed it. Uh, my friend Nick missed it. Uh, I think Uncle John missed it. So uh, if you guys want to get one of these, you literally need to be there at 6 p.m. the day they drop. Uh, if you want to kind of get some information on the next one, let me know and I'll try and put that in our Discord server. Um, in fact, though, Evi usually do one of these every couple of months. And I think the last one they did was probably in November. Uh, and we're now in mid-February. So... Uh, this was kind of waiting for a while. I checked the Evike site quite a few times just to see, is it out yet? And if it is, uh, where can, when can I order it? Um, so this one, guys, had some amazing stuff. Um, I think the top one had a $750 gun, the $550 smart target, a $500 uh, patch, which to me makes no sense in any way. Uh, and that was like one winner, but that was like over $1,500 in value. There were a few of those. Uh, there's a couple of these boxes that I'm not that excited to get. And obviously I've been looking and my box is a lot smaller than Jared's one. So uh, I think I've refined the ones that I could potentially get and there's a few that I definitely don't want. So I think Jared's got a, a bigger chance of getting more, more uh, items than me and potentially some of the bigger kind of bigger weapon uh, boxes. Uh, but I'm excited to see it. I'm gonna send him pictures straight after this. Oh, and actually guys, if any of you wanna do this in the future, um, I'm open to it. Uh, I do like opening boxes as you're probably aware. And uh, this guy doesn't, and we all want to annoy him. So if we could just get as many of you guys to send me boxes just to unbox, and then I'll send them back to you, that would be great. This is what we have today to open it. I thought, to be honest, we've gone really weird with the unboxing items, so let's go back to the OG, the old school. Um, just went for a kitchen knife. It's got some serrated edge to it, um, but I thought, let's not mess around. We've got two boxes to get through today, so let's get them open. Okay, guys, I don't want to see, but look at that. It's actually moving away, which is the front of the box. So I'm going to have to hold on to it. Good knife. Um, right, guys, so let's, let's get on with it. You obviously hate it when I talk too much before I actually start bringing stuff out. Okay, so I feel uh, two boxes here, which is a patch. So we'll go with that. 
Okay, so the red box of awesomeness hex patch. I think they value these at like nine, ten dollars. I'll get the value at the end. Uh, ridiculous overvaluation. Um, it's obviously worth like ten cents or less, in my opinion. Um, I know that they gave different colored ones. I think there's a blue one, a gold one, a red one. So I'm not sure if the red one, if I look now, I'd be able to predict what it was. But let's see at the end of this box, guys, if the red one. Uh, is the right items, the one that they've got in the description. So first thing, patch. Um, other than that, I'm feeling this, which I presume is gonna be the knee pads, yeah. So this guys was in most of the boxes. Um, so I was kind of expecting this in any box that we got. Um, I actually don't like these version, which I think are the ones that buckle around. Yeah, they kind of buckle around and attach. I think they're still probably very good, but with me, I run a lot and I jump around and they just wiggle off my knees. Like if I've attached that to my knee, it's just shaking around. These actually feel great, uh, but what you don't realize, and especially in California, is the ground is hard. Uh, there are little plastic balls all over it, which obviously are not the most comfortable thing to kneel on. Um, and so the amount of times that you're kneeling down behind cover and things, um, you just miss knee pads if you don't have them. And as soon as you put them on, Too Tall actually got his first set of trousers with some of these in. Anyway guys, so I think these are good, uh, always useful knee pads, not just for airsoft, I'm sure you can use them for other stuff. So patch, knee pads, elbow pads, we were kind of expecting it. Um, only other things I'm feeling in here feels like a pistol box and a rifle box. So I'm gonna take the pistol box out first. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep that. Oh, Hudson. But I know we've had a few of these in our other boxes. Obviously it's for Jared, not for me. Uh, but the EMG Hudson is made, I think, in part by Evike and they do a really good job of it. Yeah, so that slipped out of the box there. Um, it's the same style one that I've actually got before. I've got a black version of this, uh, but this is really cool. Really like awesome design pistol. I think these are actually literally designed by them. Um, but full metal, you can feel it's really, oh, actually. I think the, the lower receiver might actually be plastic. Upper receiver is metal, um, aluminium. Um, I like actually this little solid piece at the bottom, kind of, it just feels a bit like, um, almost like a Metal Gear Solid gun. You've got a small bit of rail there to attach stuff to. I've heard really good things about this. Feels great in the hand. Um, in terms of value on this, uh, I'll look it up, but I think it's probably about 160 bucks, maybe something like that. Um, but Jared is the first thing you've won, an EMG Hudson. Um, I think they're great pistols, so it's just a really good thing to, to buy. Look at that though, actually. They've designed the pistol box so it can fit multiple shaped pistols with longer barrels and like a different kind of back end. But let me know in the comments, actually, if you guys would be happy to win that. Um, I think I've already got one. So in a way, uh, I'd love to have won this because it's a great value, but because I've already got one, um, I'm not that bothered uh, because I would just be giving it away to you guys. So first thing on Jared's box, EMG Hudson. Um, the actual model is an HP 0101, I think. Yeah, so it's a two-part box. I'm gonna pull it out now. Oh, it's heavy, okay. So guys, let's uh, give it a big uh, cheer for Jared. Hoping he's getting something amazing here. Obviously, I don't hope he's getting something better than me, but hopefully it's still really good. So Jared, your box of awesomeness main prize, I presume, because that might be the lesser one, is... Do, do, do. Is it cool? Let me know in the chat, guys. Write in the chat, is it cool? Is it cool? Would you be happy to win this? Let me know. Five, four, three, two. Sniper rifle. Okay, so I wouldn't be that happy to win this, Jared. Not to say this isn't an awesome prize. So it's gonna be a Cyma C CM700A is what it looks like from there. So it's almost like the upgraded uh, 700, the CM700. I don't think it is an open box then, actually. I think I'm wrong. Cyma sometimes do do these kind of straight boxes. It's got like a front and side rail. Okay, this is really, really cool. Um, right, it weighs a lot, guys, this one. Um, you can probably see the red flash hiding, flash hider cover there. They basically just stuck a bit of plastic onto the end of the barrel. It definitely weighs a lot. So, large kind of square polymer, polymer body. Um, it's got this little mount here, which you can put a bipod on or a sling. It's got the QD mounts here as well. This I think is really cool, especially actually with how popular on YouTube sniping content now is. Being able to put a scope cam there as well as running your scope on the main rail, I think is actually really, really uh, useful. Um, it does weigh a lot though, so if you're putting a camera on this thing, it is going to be seriously heavy. 
Adjustable cheek rest, which I think is really, really cool. Again, QD sling points, um, sling mount areas where you could put that on. When I grabbed this, I have to say it feels chunky. I don't know if you can see guys there, but this is so wide. So it's not like your usual kind of pistol grip or sniper grip. It's got a cool texture into it, but it really feels like your whole hand is having to wrap around it, um, which I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of. I've got big hands. And it definitely feels good in my shoulder. Again, textured front grip up here. This barrel is really odd because it's almost like a, it's like a one piece barrel, but it's almost got this flash hider attachment to it, which you don't normally see on sniper rifles. And I presume this is a stock extender. So what you could do is remove these bits of plastic if you wanted to get it shorter or add more and then kind of attach it with the bolt at the end. These unscrew so that then you can position this up for your, sh for your cheek. Uh, safety is gonna be right here. So forward, I think is to fire. Yeah, and back is safe. Um, I'm gonna try the bolt action just so you guys can see it. The bolt's here, it's gonna lift up. We're gonna retract. Oh, it's a nice motion. It's a really, really nice motion. Pushes back beautifully, clicks in, push for forward. George, don't be scared. Good sound to it. Really nice trigger response. Small pull and then it goes. Gonna go one more. Yeah, Jared, you're gonna like this, uh, this is the action on this. Yeah, so you've kind of got some give in the trigger and then as soon as it goes hard, it's there, which I like. Okay, I'm gonna put the safe on. What else comes in the box, I hear you ask? Speed loader, uh, really useful because obviously I presume this mag's gonna be like 30 rounds-ish around there. Um, bit of a different one, it's like the L96 mag that retracts like that when it goes in, but it's got this block on the bottom. So when it goes in, Oh, that's kind of cool actually. So it actually recesses, so you've got it almost un like unseeable, and then you can just pull it with this little catch here, and it pops out, he says. Okay, yeah, it pops out. The actual start of the barrel is here. So the, I think the advantage normally with having a sniper rifle is you've got a barrel that's that long, like the whole way, so your accuracy is gonna be improved. When you're loading the BB in here, and the action and the bolt is here, the barrel's only that long. And so therefore, yes, you are getting more uh, accuracy than a regular AR, but if the barrel was to back here or they could do something like that, then you're gonna really improve the accuracy. Uh, you've got two hex keys there and a little uh, speed loading nozzle. Um, oh, you've got an interchangeable spring. So that's kind of cool, guys, because I think a lot of people that have snipers, um, field limits vary. Some fields will allow the most unbelievably powerful sniper rifles. Some fields have a minimum engagement distance of like 100 feet. Some places don't. Uh, the place I play, Warped Ops, minimum engagement uh, distance 100 feet, and I think it's limited to like 450 FPS, something like that. Um, so the fact that out of the box it comes with a spring, I think is really, really cool. BBs, uh, they are Saima, and I know is a good brand, but again, I wouldn't risk it. Probably just throw these away. Other thing with these rifles are they are generally gonna fire heavier BBs, or that's a better thing to do with them. So if you can fire like 0.35s, 0.4s, 0.42s, um, you're gonna get a lot more accuracy and kind of accuracy at range. Um, anyway, guys, I think that's about it. Um, I, as I said, I'm not that jealous, so I'm hoping that I get something better in my box. But Jared, I think you've done well, mate. Uh, the box, if I haven't said this already, costs 200 bucks. Um, and I think all of the boxes pretty much are over 300 in value. So uh, I'll look up the value now for Jared, but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be a, a close to a $200 gun by itself. Um, and we'll see what he has got in terms of value. So I'm gonna put this back. Value. Okay, so this is interesting. It does come with that as the red in the description. For this box, you get the EMG Hudson H9 gas blowback, which is this guy, <coughs> parallel training weapon um, in tan, which it is. Uh, you get the Saima PID custom upgraded USMC M40A5. So it's an M40, sorry for my mistakes earlier. Um, it is an M40A5 bolt action airsoft sniper rifle. Uh, and the boa patch in red, which it actually came in red, so I'm quite impressed with that. Um, and the elbow and knee pad set in random color. Uh, in all of the pictures, actually it doesn't. I think this is like that snake tan. In a lot of the pictures, it's got multicam. But the value. First off, this is $180. So basically he's almost got the value of his box just in that. Uh, he paid 200 uh, inclusive of shipping and that's 180 bucks. So you've done well there, mate. That's 180. 
Uh, this knee pad set is 20 bucks. So I think I was exactly right on that. Um, so that together is his value, 180 plus 200, that's done. Basically means he's getting two things for free. Firstly, and most importantly, this thing, not important at all. And what I do like actually about Evo, because I've just checked it, is they've put dollar sign N-A, so not available, because it's not worth anything. So at least they're not putting the value on there. Um, but that is uh, the patch so that came for free. And then obviously we've got this sniper rifle, the M40A5 from Saima. Guesses on price? What did I say? Why is 200? $209. So basically you got a free sniper rifle for $209 plus this unbelievably valuable patch as well. Um, so I think that's a good box. Um, unfortunately, it was one of the 50 winner boxes. So guys, there's a lot of these where it's like six winners or two winners or one winner. A few of these boxes are the kind of less valuable or obviously they're giving away more of them so they feel less valuable. Um, this was 50 people won this box. But Jared, thank you so much mate for sending it. If you guys are on the uh, on the stream right now or are watching this back in the comments, just write a thank you or we heart Jared because all of this entertainment was obviously done because of this guy, George, but mainly because Jared sent us this box. So thank you so much, mate. So I'm gonna bring this to one side and then we're gonna get on with my box. Let's go. Um, one thing that I forgot to do guys was give that a Badger rating. Uh, badger ratings are one to five. I would say I would give that a three. Uh, because obviously it's one of the 50 boxes, so out of an Evike box, it's probably one of the worst ones you could get, technically, even though there's really cool items. But uh, in terms of other boxes, I think Evike are at the top of their game. Um, if you're out there and you're watching this, just buy an Evike box of awesomeness. If you've got 200 bucks, just do it because you can sell the stuff and probably make the 200 back very quickly. Uh, but I'm going to give that, a, uh, uh, what did I give it? A three, no, 2.5. You get a 2.5 out of five, so 50%, um, which means that I've got to beat it with this one. Um, so exactly the same price, guys, exactly the same box. It's the Evike box of awesomeness. In fact, I think they called it something. They called it the New Year's Celebration. So it's obviously February, but. So, please let me beat Jared. Please let me beat Jared. Please let me beat Jared. George, am I gonna beat Jared? I think that's a no. Okay, zero paper. I do think the knee pads are here because I did feel that net mesh bag. I did feel that mesh bag. Uh, and it is the exact same set. So I've got the elbow pads, the knee pads. I didn't show you guys before. Oh, these are actually Velcro on these ones. Um, so you would just Velcro attach that to your elbow. I don't think these are as necessary. Um, I don't think I've ever used uh, elbow pads, but I'm sure maybe in CQB or certain situations, uh, it can be useful. So uh, $20, we already know the value of that thanks to Jared's box. Hopefully that means we can only go in one way, which is up. I think also in this one, I can only feel... So, let's go. First item. Da, da, da. I think I see an HK on the screen in front of me, which is a good sign. What's it gonna be? Okay, so they don't show you on the front of the box what it is, so I'm gonna try and open it without seeing what it is. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me go. Da, 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 da. And I think I'm right. It's an MP7. Oh, okay, this is cool. Um, so I don't have a huge amount of these. Reason I didn't find the uh, patch, guys, apparently, is because the patch was located uh, inside my MP7 box. But this is cool. So I don't have really any SMGs. I've got some shorter M4s that I've won in some of the uh, mystery boxes, but not really kind of any proper compact SMGs. Uh, and this is really, really cool looking. Um, thought it could be gas, but this is a very light plastic mag. So it looks like it's a mid cap, just like MP7 mag. One thing I do realize as well, the more of these boxes I get, is that I do like getting M4s because I have a lot of M4 mags. As soon as I get a new platform gun, like one of these, um, it means I have to buy a load of different batteries, uh, magazines, everything for it. And that's expensive. This is heavy. 
It's a bit of a weird feeling. Okay, so it's got the front foregrip. Oh, it does feel quite cool. Okay, so it's got the front foregrip. It's got a, a, a stock which slides. You can see it here, guys. I don't know if you can see there. It's like sliding back and forward. So I'm sure that's solid feeling, but it may just be wear and tear with dust and stuff. I think that's not gonna be ideal. I mean, this does feel cool. Flip up sights at the front uh, and the rear. Is that supposed to be like that? Look at that, guys. My rear sight just wobbles. This without the magazine in it does feel really top heavy because like you've got that much to grip to and then everything is wobbling around in the front and back. Um, yeah, if you pop it in properly, it goes in, but it's a weird as well. It's like a curve, the actual thing. Oh, there we go. Although it wasn't actually moving fully down to auto. So you can see there, it's just got safe, semi, full auto. And it's a, it's a licensed h and I can see the battery wiring, which you can probably see there, guys. Small Tamiya connector. That's going to be... I mean, it must be a LiPo that's going to go in there. But it has got to be a very, very small battery that I'm going to be able to put in. Okay, so mag release is actually below the pistol, the um, trigger guard. I don't know if you can see there. You push that down, and then the mag will release. As I said, that follower there is um, kind of a cool thing to have. Oh, okay, so this foregrip, to get it back, you need to pull this little slit, slitch. You need to pull this little tab down, and then that allows you to click it back in. It doesn't fully lock in place, though, so it does have that kind of uh, motion to it. Okay, guys, so I'm happy with this, um, but it's cool. I mean, not many people have an MP7A1. I don't have an MP7A1. Now I do have an MP7A1. Let me know guys, would you be happy to get this? I think it's gonna be close to what I spent on it, which is that $200 mark. Um, I don't know, it's good, we'll see. I don't know if that, that is gonna be a beater of Jared kind of item, but we have one more item to go. Uh, and because this is a branded um, Heckler & Koch gun, I have a weird feeling that this other thing is gonna be worth a lot less. It's gonna be like the lesser item and that's gonna be the main one, but, there is only one way to find out, and that is to look inside the box. But I may be wrong. Um, this came in a couple of the boxes I saw. It's like the shooter AR kind of thing. Um, I think basically what it is to do is like, it's kind of like that Nerf gun that I won. I gave that away. Um, but this probably is going to be a similar thing. It feels actually really heavy. I thought this would just be a light, almost fake, uh, almost looks like a shotgun. Uh, but I think what you basically do is attach your phone to it, like a screen, and then it's like a kind of AR, as in you're pointing the gun and the, the phone is moving around and showing you different things to shoot at. It's not actually firing anything. Um, George, he looks so unimpressed by this one. Okay. okay, so it says it's got a Bluetooth, like, shotgun shell. So I think you can turn it on, put a battery into it, there's a lot of little bits of uh, explanation stuff. You know what, guys? It's in plastic wrapping. I've never really got any of these boxes, but I've seen a lot of people in mystery boxes, like this plastic Perspex wrap that just wraps the entire thing. That, I think, guys, is where you put your uh, phone in, uh, basically, and then you're using it, kind of looking around. Um, it does feel heavy, as I said. I don't think I'm going to open this one just because I'm probably going to give this away. That, I think, is where you put the battery in so that it kind of shows that you fired. Uh, it comes with sights. I don't know. All right, we're going to open it. Okay, so this is weird feeling. Um, it's definitely a very plastic body, yeah? I mean, it's, it's kind of heavy-ish, but it's not... It's not like some of the guns that we use. Um, it's got safety here, right by the trigger trigger guard. Okay guys, so it's got like a little shell chamber there that you put the shells into. This is like a little switch here, which just opens that for you. So I presume then you would take shells like this and then just input them in. Uh, and then presumably they load into this chamber here, the lower barrel as it were. So basically that bit there, guys, the loading um, with the follower. So we just pump the BBs into there, put it into here, and then I presume once it's loaded, you're not going to like this, but I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, I think it's a usable shotgun. I've got a feeling it's like got that electronic one so that it just shows when you pull the trigger and that, 
that Bluetooth to your phone, but I actually think it can also be used as, a, as an airsoft shotgun. Um, it looks kind of cool. Um, I think you'd have to buy more than one shell for it, because presumably that would only take 10, 15 rounds max inside. Um, but it's ergonomic, feels good. It's got like a little, um, it's got sling mounts on this side. It's got a cute, it's got the uh, Picatinny rail under here, which I presume you'd only put, really put a flashlight on if you're kind of pulling this back and forward and moving it wouldn't be that useful. This is the phone attacher. So I presume if you're using it not as a BB gun or an airsoft gun, and you're using it just for putting the Bluetooth shell in and attaching that to your phone so that when you fire, it's like aiming and shooting. But I don't know, it's orange, so obviously I think they wanted to make that look very clear that it was different. Uh, you've got front and rear sights, uh, little Allen key there. Yeah, the front and rear sights are very plastic usable airsoft gun that you're gonna be using. Although I would say with shotguns, they don't actually need to be that kind of usable in terms of distance. Um, a lot of the time when people are using these, it's in CQB and they're going into a room. And if you're just firing close range, you don't necessarily need the power or the accuracy um, that you'd use. So I'd say this is actually usable. Um, so guys, uh, I'm gonna look up the value now. Uh, but as I said, I've got a feeling that uh, my value might be higher, but I think that Jared may have won this one. We got the uh, MP7, which actually I'm quite happy about. Knee pads and uh, elbow pads, yeah, that's $20. And then patch worth absolutely zero. Evite.com shoots better. MP7, ooh. Okay guys, I don't know, maybe I'm the winner. Uh, I did not realize this, but this is actually valued at $399.95. So that's really, really good. Uh, that's basically the same value in this as the entire of Jared's box. Apparently this is worth $90, $88. So does not feel like it's worth $88 to me. Uh, if anyone out there has used this as well, let me know. But uh, that puts my box at $487, just over that. And then obviously this is 20 bucks. Um, patch that they showed it with was the exact same patch. So these guys have been good with their patches. If they show you you're getting this patch with it, then you're getting this patch with it. Uh, number of boxes, um, six winners. So, This one? This one? Okay, George is picking mine as well. Um, so this one gets the George approval. So I'm really, really happy. Uh, let me know if you guys are happy as well. I'll give you guys some of the close-ups if we haven't showed you them already. Um, and I'll try and test fire the MP7 at some point, uh, but that's probably not gonna be in this video. So if you wanna see it, cause I'm not gonna be able to work out how to put the battery in it. But if you guys wanna see that fire, you wanna do a full, you wanna see a full review of it, let me know, cause I'll get that done. Um, but, Happy, always happy with Evike. Uh, was it the box I wanted? No, um, there were a couple of boxes there that I was really, really excited with the chance to win, but still really, really awesome. Um, just excited. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've actually got a box which I think just arrived at the door. So I'm gonna open that now. That's gonna be the next video. And that's actually gonna be the mere tactical uh, no regrets mystery box. It's like a $300 one. And there's some awesome, awesome prizes in that. So hopefully I'm gonna win something good. But Got some great stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Six More Badger. This has been George. George, say hi. He's been George. I've been Six More Badger. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time and please subscribe. Put your notifications on. Join the Discord. Join the Instagram. Join the TikTok. You know this. You know the score. Go and do it. Thanks, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.